Hey, what's up? This is Moon on the Enterprise. Um, beautiful ship, Enterprise D, TNG. Um, I got some uh, some new cards, the um, card expansion for the Oberth from Gaming with Swag Guys. Um, it's a Facebook group, Dads by Day, uh, Gamers by Night. Um, first up, we've got the ship card. It's the USS Grissom. Um, two attack, three agility, three hull, two shields, uh, two tech slots, two crew slots, um, and then uh, you've got a typical um, token or um, action bar, which it looks, I mean, it's missing, uh, it's missing battle stations, which I thought was interesting, maybe because, I don't know, it's so cheap, such a small ship, they won't have battle stations, I don't know. Um, the ship card text is, when this ship would be destroyed, the attacking ship must discard one crew upgrade. If it can't, place an auxiliary token beside it. Okay, so, um, the bummer part is that is a crew upgrade of the attacked ship's choice. So you can't choose which crew to discard. Um, also if they don't have a crew to discard, then they just get an auxiliary token. That's not really that big of a deal. Um, the next card, the unnamed uh, ship card, would be a pretty big hit. It costs two less. Um, it's got two attack, three agility, three hull, and one shield. Um, you lose a crew slot, and yeah, you're losing a shield. It costs two squad points less. Um, that is a really cheap ship, so maybe it's worth running. Uh, three agility is really nice for, uh, for a Federation ship. I, throwing two dice obviously isn't going to work, so you're going to need to load this thing up with um, something that's going to allow you to add some weapons or uh, something that's going to allow you to upgrade the weapons. Uh, maybe Type 8 Phaser Array or um, Upgraded Phasers would work. Um, those cards are hard to find though, I know that they're just so expensive to run. Um, the captain is J.T. Esteban. He costs two squad points. It says, the captain's discretion talent upgrade may be equipped to this captain. So he doesn't have a talent slot, but he does allow for you to attach the captain's discretion, which coincidentally is the only talent upgrade in this pack. It states, uh, when the ship would be destroyed, so again, kind of ties in with the ship text, move two crew upgrades equipped to the ship to another friendly ship, even if it exceeds the, that ship's ex restrictions. So if you've got some valuable crew on this ship, you can uh, sort of eject them over, escape pot them over to another friendly ship. That would be nice. Um, he's only a three skill level, though, so I mean, this, <laughs> this is a pretty weak ship. Um, it's cool that there's uh it's cool that's so cheap but I don't know where you would use it I guess in some sort of a support role um, for crew we've got William T Riker he has uh, modify captain skill of plus three so um, if you put Riker on with Esteban you'd be running a six level six captain but he is not cheap Riker is four squad points um, it says, if the captain to the ship had become disabled or discarded, the ship's captain's skill is 5, so Riker would fill the role as first officer. Um, if the ship receives a face-up communications failure or injured captain damage card, flip that damage card face down. So in the rare occasion that you might receive a crit, uh, one of those two crits, you could flip it down to a, a regular damage. I don't know, four, four squad points seems like a lot for this guy. He, he doesn't add a whole lot of value, unless you're running a high captain to start with, and a uh, captain that you care about, um, then maybe. Next up, we've got um, Federation Helmsman. He is squad point cost of three uh, for a crew upgrade. States, action, place an auxiliary token beside this ship, and then perform a one forward, one bank left, or one bank right maneuver. That's awesome. I love I love having additional ability to move my ship around, especially when it means getting out of someone's firing arc. I think that's a that's good that's a good card. Um, three cost, yeah, I guess that's that's all right. Um, there's some ships that can already do some maneuvering. Um, I forgot what the, not the uh, Sutherland, but the Phoenix. Um, this might be kind of cool to run in there, so you could do 
different types of maneuvers. I don't remember exactly what the Phoenix text is, but it's something like this, so that'd be worth looking at. Um, David Marcus is the next crew. Um, if a crew equipped to the ship would be discarded, discard this card instead. Which, um, I like this card. I think that's kind of cool. I, I wish it didn't cost three. Um, I don't know if any of you guys play X-Wing, but there's a card called Shroud. It does the same thing. It costs one. Um, the only difference is, this says when defending, discard this card, add one evade. So, a discard to add one evade that costs three squad points. That doesn't seem like a real good price. Um, and then you lose your protection from another crew. Um, next up we've got Savik. Savik. <laughs> I'm sure I'm butchering this name, but uh, states when defending, if this ship is within range of a planet token, so range one to two is what it states, you can convert a blank result to an evade result. That is very effective. Um, especially on a ship where you're rolling a lot of dice, you have a good chance of rolling some blanks. Um, this is a guaranteed um, evade and it only costs one, one squad point. So um, on a map with planets, if you have a crew slot open, absolutely, I would put, uh, I would equip her. She kind of looks like that girl from uh, Beetlejuice. I don't know if it's the same actress, but I remember her in the episode, but or the um, the movie. Um, next up, we've got a tech card, Genesis Effect. In the setup, it says you can put one crew upgrade with a cost of five SP or less face down beneath this card. Um, the range is one to three, and it says end phase. So after everything's done, you're cleaning up. It says um, if this ship is within range of a planet, so range 1 to 3, then disable all of its shields, flip the crew upgrade beneath this card face up, and place two time tokens on it, um, and equip it to your ship, even if it exceeds your restrictions. So essentially what this does is it adds a crew slot, um, but also allows you to have a discount in your squad points because you're putting it under, you know, up to a, a cost of 5 underneath a cost of 2. I I could see it, um, especially on a ship that you really want to add some more crew, but you're running low on um, points. You don't have the points to throw around. Um, next up, we've got close range scan. The activation phase, if this ship performed a scan action, disable one shield and place a scan token beside the ship. So, what I'm guessing, it sounds like this is actually going to be the ability to run two scans. If you perform a scan, you can disable one shield and then place a scan token beside the ship. That sounds like you'd be running two scans, which is a very unique thing to be able to run the same action twice, uh, only if it's specified on the card, but that's very cool if that's, I believe that's what that means. Um, Com station would be another tech upgrade. Add one crew slot to the ship's upgrade bar. Um, activation phase, disable this card and target a friendly ship that would be um, range 1 to 2. This game round, replace the captain skill of this ship's captain with the captain skill of the target ship's captain. So, you would have to be within range 1 to 2. You would disable it, target the friendly ship, and then the ship captain on this ship would be the number that's on the target ship's ship captain. So if you needed him to shoot first, um, this sort of plays into the support role if you're running a ship just to support your other ships or you need to f needed to shoot first I would imagine would be the the best reason to up, up your um, captain skill I, I could see where that would be useful um, lastly we've got a talent upgrade captain's discretion that's the one that ties into the um, to the captain it's the only talent that could be attached to what's his name JT Esteban um, free action discard this card and perform the action of a crew upgrade equipped to the ship. That is a really expensive talent. Four just for a discard, just to perform an action that I can't see myself running it, but um, it's cool. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. I hope you guys like my format. Um, this is the first time I, I set this up. Um, basically, I'm running a green screen. Um, 
were using uh, open broadcast software. I was able to replace the background with the Enterprise, which I thought was awesome. It's my first time using um, Sony Vegas Pro, um, which was uh, what I used to put this together. Um, the uh, the recording was all done with open broadcast software, and um, background noises, all that stuff. I just basically looked up YouTube tutorials on how to do this stuff, but um, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm on the Enterprise TNG, probably the best looking bridge. I know I'm probably going to disagree. Some people disagree with me, I'm sure, but uh, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I think. Um, in fact, if I do this, it looks like I'm looking around the bridge when really I'm looking at my looking at my basement. <laughs> beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, let me know if you like these or if you want me to keep recording them or uh, if you want to see some more reviews on some other stuff, I'd be happy to do it. Thanks.